Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. We are having one of those like fake out spring days in the middle of February right now. So we're supposed to get like a high of 54 today. So I figured this was a perfect day to go outside and get some sunshine. So we're gonna go ahead and just putz in my yard and work on doing some early spring cleanup so that when the warmer weather does actually hit, I can focus on more important things. I'm looking in my backyard right now and there are sticks and branches everywhere. So that is definitely the main thing I'm planning on tackling is picking up sticks and branches and just cleaning up, um, probably raking some leaves. I actually still have my Christmas, outdoor Christmas decorations still up. So that's something else I need to do today is take those down. I'm actually sitting out on my screen and porch right now and something else I need to do is do a little bit of a cleaning out here. I've still got my Christmas tree stand sitting over there and tons of needles everywhere. So we need to do just a little bit of cleaning, not like the full spring cleaning yet, but just tidy uh, vacuum and maybe wipe down some surfaces. So we're gonna do that as well. And then we will probably also end up just doing a little walk about together in the garden. I can already see some little shoots coming up from some spring bulbs. So let's go ahead and get out there and start doing some work. Like I said, I had tons of sticks and large branches in my backyard, so that is exactly where I started. I have lots of trees and lots of wooded areas in my yard, as you can see, so there ends up being a good amount of debris here. I will say, as much as I have grown to, I guess, enjoy and appreciate outdoor chores, I still loathe picking up sticks. This was always a chore my mom made me do when I was a kid too, and I hated it then. I don't think I hated it as much as I did then, but I, this is not fun. So I don't think I spent more than like 30 minutes walking around back here. Then I figured I would do some of the pruning of some of my perennials. My rhododendron had one branch hanging off of it that was very much dead compared to the other ones, so I clipped that off. And now we are moving in the screen and porch to do some tidying. As you can see, I still had my Christmas tree stand and some Christmas greenery up here. So getting rid of that and giving the porch a good vacuum. I had pine needles everywhere. And just so everyone knows, my vacuum that I use on my porch is exclusively used for my porch. It's actually like our old vacuum. The hose doesn't work. So we have an indoor vacuum and this one stays exclusively outside. I still had some Christmas lights to pick up. And then I like to go in with my little handy back and get into the cracks and crevices of the beams and the concrete. And then I am also doing a little vacuum on my upholstery here.
then I am going in with a wet cloth and just wiping down a few of the surfaces. Again, just like a quick clean to the main areas that really need it, like the tables. into my plant store you guys and look what I spotted pansies and viola violas 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 oh my gosh or I guess these are all violas oh and look at the gorgeous hellebores so pretty in these window boxes look how gorgeous that is spring guys can't wait all right it is actually the next day and we are in my front yard now and i am going to be doing some pruning back of shrubs and perennials that are in what i call my hydrangea circle obviously i have tons of hydrangeas in there and i'm just going through and picking up any major debris cutting back any perennials that are all died back or looking raggedy and then for the hydrangeas, these are all hydrangea macrophyllas. I actually follow a bunch of different landscaping and gardening subreddits and someone just made a post with these type of hydrangeas being like, what, how do I prune this? And everybody's answering like, cut it back to the ground. And so of course I had to make a comment being like, no, don't do that. The key here is to figure out what branches are actually dead and what ones have new growth. So you wanna just look for the little buds on your branches. If there's a bud growing on it, don't cut that branch off. If you see no new growth on a branch, you can cut it. And usually there's a few signs that can tell you that branch is dead. If it is like gray in color, it, it's gonna feel weaker than the rest of them. It'll snap easily. And a lot of the times it'll just pop right out without you having to actually cut it. And then when you trim branches that have live new buds on it, from the tip of the branch, you're gonna move your clippers down to that first set of buds and then just snip that top off. You don't have to do this. The plant will do perfectly fine. I just like to do it for aesthetic reasons. If you are not sure of the proper pruning process of the big leaf hydrangeas, you're better off just leaving them be because you're going to regret it if you cut them down to the ground. And now we are moving to what I call my sunbed. And I am cutting back all of these mums that I have as a front border and then cutting back a few other perennials in here. Had this little fall garden flag up and i just ordered a new one for valentine's day i'm calling this area my kitty corner as you can see that makes sense valentine's day is actually in like three days so i'm a little late with this but oh well all right guys i figure we will take a walk and just look at some of the very early signs of spring got some tulip bub bubs <laughs> <laughs> tulip buds popping up so that's exciting I haven't seen anything yet in these containers we planted together a couple videos back but I'm hoping I'm hoping I think these are narcissists oh I see another one over there 
Look at that little guy. Pretty sure there's alliums, hyacinth, maybe tulips, I'm not sure. This spot right here is something we're gonna be working on this coming season. These are four azalea shrubs and I kinda wanna carve this bed out. I wanna put a big pot, like a big group of some pots maybe in the middle. I've got this concrete pedestal here that I want to do something with and kind of do like a border. I need to still clean up some sticks back here, but I did make a lot of progress. Up here by my front porch, I am also seeing just a couple buds. And then if you guys remember back in the fall, I planted a ton of crocus lining this sidewalk to my front porch. And I am just starting to see some of those bud up. It looks like something chomped on that. Yeah, it looks like something might have nommed on these. Ugh, that's annoying. Finally got all my Christmas lights taken down. I did just leave the little fairy lights on these um, topiaries there. And then we've got the kitty corner. And I wasn't even really planning on fussing with this bed today, but I ended up doing it anyway, just because it was so nice to be out here and it actually was so relaxing. And I actually think I got the majority of the hydrangeas cleaned up. So one less thing I have to worry about when the warmer weather is officially here. This is my newest flower bed, which I call the sun bed. I have two butterfly bushes that I did do a little bit of clipping. I'm stoked because this is a lilac right here and that's my very first lilac. I'm so excited for that. And then we cut back all of the mums that line the front of this bed. And there's also gonna be a ton of tulips coming up right along this curb here. There's also six peonies planted in this bed. I don't see any sign of those yet, but I also heard from some people that sometimes they don't make an appearance until the second year. There is that oak leaf hydrangea. And another amazing thing I noticed right now, it's five o'clock and there is still plenty of light outside right now. And oh, it's so refreshing. I am so sick of the dark. If you are still watching, just know that I truly appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video or it gave you motivation, please hit that big thumbs up button and consider hitting the subscribe button as well. If you are into home and gardening content, I have so much planned for the warmer months to come. I am so excited to see all my hard work pay off and everything to just start blooming and looking beautiful. And I can't wait to share everything with you guys. So again, I'd love for you to subscribe. I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.